Hi all, warm greetings. Number five, respect. One P, First Peter chapter three, verse two says, while they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. Now chaste means, well, it's from the Hebrew, the Greek word hagnos and it's exciting reverence, uh, venerable, sacred. And then it's also meaning pure. And um, it says here pure from carnality. So exciting reference, that's like giving a respect. Also in verse 6 it says, Even as Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters you are, as long as you do well and are not afraid of any amazement. And I'm not saying that you have to call your spouse Lord, but Sarah calling Abraham Lord was a way of showing respect onto him. And a way that you can show respect is well, all the things that I mentioned before by not nagging, by speaking with grace, by speaking with uh, uh, letting your words be seasoned with salt, by speaking at the right time. And it's also just you know being aware of, of who he is, that he is you know your spouse, you're on the same team. He is not the enemy, he is not the problem. The enemy can make you think like he is, but he isn't, you're on the same team. And if one of you lose, you both lose. If one of you win, you both win. You should never come away from a disagreement thinking, yes, I won and he lost, I was right, he was wrong. If you, if one of you lose, you both lose. You really wanna come away from a win-win situation. The best contracts in the world are always with win-win um, contracts. When they're negotiating, you come out with a win-win contract. They are the best in the world. And this is when you have disagreements, you really wanna find win-win solutions. Um, and just being mindful as well of, um, how you speak about him to other people as well because although you're not directly communicating with him if he hears of it um then that can affect your communication as well because he's feeling wow my own wife is disrespecting me to other people and even if he never heard of it that's not something that you want to do you don't want to be disrespecting your uh, uh, husband i remember listening to somebody on youtube and she said, oh, I'm so thankful, you know, my husband continue to love me even though I treat him like C-R-A-P. She actually said the word, I don't even want to say that word. And I was like, wow, like I was so gobsmacked. I was like, you just went like on national TV. <laughs> Because YouTube, honestly, it could be like national TV. I mean, more people can see a video than, you know, the people who watch at, at the BBC News um, and I was like you just went on national TV i.e. YouTube and just like disgraced your husband like you just said that you treat him like C-R-A-P to the world and I was so shocked and I felt so sorry for her husband I was really hoping that he never saw that video um, but I'm guessing you know her friends would have seen it and hopefully they didn't say anything to him or his friends seen it but I was thinking wow like even if you are which you shouldn't be doing you shouldn't go ahead and just tell everybody um and of course you know there's challenges that you go through that you may want to share with people to help other people to overcome their challenges and have better marriages but you should always agree what would you share um from your marriage you should always agree before you go and, and share it but i i just thought wow she said that and just to give another example um it's not actually something I've heard, but just something that I'm thinking of, for example, or, um, say you're out at a, a restaurant and he does something that displeases you, which this again goes to being with the right time. You shouldn't there, like in front of everybody, just start, you know, saying to him, oh, that he's done this wrong and then speaking loudly and just embarrassing him in front of everybody. That really does, you know, you can almost like make him feel like this small. It really does belittle him and takes away like, it's like you're stripping him of his manlyhood, stripping him of um, you know, his position uh, in the household. And um, it, it really just like almost ruins him. And it, it's, 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 oh, it's so heartbreaking into, to, to see it like to just even me just thinking about it seeing it in the spirit somebody doing that um and sadly I, I 
could imagine that this actually happens in real life so if you know he does do something that displeases you um the respectful thing to do would be to wait till you get home and to talk about it and again that goes in line with speaking at the right time not just being there um and um um saying all the things he's done wrong and you may think oh but if i stay at home he not doesn't want to speak about it but because there's other people there then he's going to want to speak about it well he may do but it doesn't really mean that you've resolved it because yes he could just speak about it because there's people there and he feels so embarrassed but you're going to cause so much more problems or maybe even not so much more but you will cause more problems um than you will actually solve by by doing that it really just like just reduces a man so so to, like to almost nout um so yeah you don't want to um yeah so you definitely want to have a uh, respect that's something one of the number one things when you ask a man what they want from the uh wife it's respect and just like love um is the number one thing or amongst the top three things at least that women want from um their husband respect is almost like number one or within the always the top three um of what a man wants from from their wife and that will really help you to have better communication skills and again goes back into um your words being seasoned with salt saying things like please and thank you showing him that you appreciate what he is doing for you that will help him to, that's the way of communicating with respect um and it really does help even if he's doing that which is his responsibility as a man just letting him know that you know you appreciate what he's doing for you and your family and just saying simple things like please and thank you it really does go um a long way and and, sh and letting him know that making him feel valued and and wanted um because that really does bring a man up to make him feel like you know he is useful that he is needed in the house and that he is appreciated and and valued they want to um like uh yeah know that they are king of the the castle and yeah you are you are his queen <laughs> Whose adorning let it not be that outward adorning of plaiting the hair, or of wearing of gold, or of putting on of apparel, but let it be the hidden man of the heart, in that which is not corruptible, even the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which is in the sight of God of great price. Take care.